Merry Christmas, guys. All right, so ignore the snowman and my shaking. No, kidding. Um, here we go. Stealth 520, Turtle Beaches. Um, we're going to show the setup and do a review. So, quick setup here. This is the cable that came with the um, headphones, and then that's the transmitter. So that goes into the USB in front, and then this is an optical cable. It goes in the back of the PS4. On there, go to settings. Um, sound, audio output, digital optical, bitstream, Dolby. I believe that was it. Mm. Check through here. Devices, audio devices. There we go. You also need to change that to input and output to USB headset Turtle Beach Stealth 520 chat. So that'll get you completely up and running with these. So let's go. That's the setup. Completely wireless. Button over here turns it on. Powering on gives you a nice feedback. On the left ear, there is no controls. So that's not a button. There's no controls on the ear. The foam is a little stiff, but I think after you wear it in, it'll be okay. It has nice adjustment. You can see it by my index finger here. Meow! You can see it by my index finger here. It does turn quite a bit before it actually turns the, uh, the bridge, if you will. It has nice adjustment with the size for the head. And it has cushion on the top. As far as the controls on the right earmuff, you can get it to focus, there we go, gain access to a phone. This mutes the mic and it gives a... Mic off. Mic on. Mic on. It gives a nice audio for telling you which that is. And again, focus, focus. There we go. Oh, I lied. And we're not gonna get a focus. Anyway, hard to tell. Um, this is going to be the chat volume, louder and quieter, and game volume, louder and quieter. And then you've got presets. That will be between natural sound, bass boost, treble and bass boost, and vocal boost. Uh, the bass on these are impressive. And again, the great benefit to these are a completely wireless system. You don't notice the cords there, and so it really makes for a nice headset. It's a rechargeable battery, does come with a charging cord, um, with a USB port. So. That can actually be plugged directly into a wall outlet, or if you have it close to your PS4, it can be plugged into your PS4. But I always have a spare controller charging, so I am using a wall outlet. Um, but other than that, um, that, that's the setup and the functionality of the 520s. As far as the quality of it goes, I paid $90 on a Black Friday deal. That's not a bad price for a Turtle Beach. However, it's also not top-notch. Um, the, the audio does, and I, I've only tried it on two games, Dead by Daylight and Rainbow Six Siege. I have not played Ghost Recon yet. Um, Rainbow Six Siege, it's hard to pinpoint where they're coming from. 
And Dead by Daylight, let's admit, you don't really need high-quality audio. It's just a fun game. So, um, If you're trying to sound horror on Call of Duty, I can't say for certain that this is going to work for you because Rainbow Six Siege is very difficult to tell. But nonetheless, the bass on these things, honestly, are very impressive. Um, so as far as a $90 headset goes, buy them all day long. As far as a Turtle Beach headset goes, I forget which model I had for the Xbox One, or I'm sorry, Xbox 360, but these definitely failed in comparison. But I knew that when I bought them. I wasn't looking for top notch, I was just looking for something to replace um, what we had out here, which was basically a soundbar. Um, we're moving, it was a surround sound system, and you guys have seen the house before. There's no good way to do a surround sound at this point of the TV, so. Um, it was just replacing the, the loudness and me being able to feel the game, so. Um, and they did a good job for that. So for $90, I'd say go ahead and buy them. If the, you have to pay full price, which is $150, just wait until you find a sale on a better quality one and spot the extra $50 for a $200 set of Turtle Beaches. But as far as the cheap $90 goes, go ahead and go for it, guys. Good product, and I love the wireless fact. I mean, the, the other wireless ones I had, actually, you had to have a, a transmitter bigger than the USB one over there. So that is great. Um, if you guys found the video helpful or if you have any questions, be sure to comment down below. Let us know you like it. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you guys later.